Hey guys, this video is brought to you by the AKG K7XX Mass Drop Limited Edition Headphones. It's a really great pair of headphones that offers like around $500 level sound quality, all for around $200. It's really great for gamers and audiophiles alike, but most importantly for me personally, it's really comfortable to wear for long periods of time, and obviously it's a massive quality upgrade to my current pair of cheap earbuds. Uh, I'll have a link below in the description to these headphones if you guys are interested, so definitely do uh, check that out if, um, if you guys are curious. Hey guys, it's General Heat here. How is everyone doing today? So, for today's video, uh, we're going to be tackling a little uh, question, which is where do the phantoms on the Covenant go? And the phantoms I'm referring to are the phantoms at the second tower. When you take your hornets and you're supposed to get to the third tower, you see two phantoms, two friendly phantoms, uh, fly away. And as they're flying away, they turn invisible, and that's it, they kind of just disappear. Um, you know, we don't really know where they go. We, they just pretty much vanish. Do they despawn? Do they land somewhere? Do they go somewhere else? We just don't know. So, we're going to take a look and find out where they go exactly. Um, some of you might have done this before or seen something like this before, but we're going to do a little bit more in depth. So, it's kind of like a semi revisit, and it's also like a new thing for people who don't know in general. But what you want to do is you want to get to this part with the hornets again and do not start at the rally point, because if you start at the rally point, you won't be able to do this trick. You want to start at a mission start and come all the way here and use a warthog or something else to push the hornets to right here past the shadow. Once you're past the shadow, you should be, um, should be safe here and you can get into the hornets. Make sure the hornet is definitely past the shadow, because if you get into the hornet too soon, there'll be a barrier there and you won't be able to do this. But once you're in the hornet, uh, just take off and... Actually, I forgot to mention, you should... You need to do this with at least one other person. If you do it by yourself, it's it's not really going to do anything. It's not really going to work. So you want to do it with at least two people, including yourself. So just follow the path I'm going. Fly the Hornet here, and go straight to one of the Phantoms. Uh, the easiest one to reach is this one down here. So just go over here, and then have someone get on a turret of the Phantom. And then once they're on the turret, just um, make sure they're all secure on it and you need to stay in the Hornet. Once uh, you're in the turret, just follow where I go with the Hornet. You want to just fly back towards over here a little bit to load uh, the rest of the mission. And the Phantoms will start flying, the music will start playing. And they'll do the same thing, they'll turn invisible. But this time, uh, your teammate is still in it and you'll be able to see where they're going. And as you can see, the Phantoms just drop straight down into the water here. And that's where they land. And as you can see, they are still there. It, they're still solid, they're just perfectly invisible, like super invisible, the best active camo you could possibly have. Let me show you guys what it looks like in first person this time, from uh, my point of view. But Now, as you can see, that's where the phantoms land. However, that is not the entire story. Like I said, some of you might have seen this before, but this is not entirely the case, and I will explain why. Um, for years, I've actually assumed that this is the actual landing spot of the Phantoms, but that was not entirely true. But let me just show you the old thing that a lot of people, some people might already know. So, see the Phantoms land there, and both of them do land in a general area. Uh, sometimes it varies a little bit, but that's where they crash land. Uh, you won't survive the crash landing, but the Phantom is still there and they're still solid. And at the right angle, you can even stand on them in the water. Uh, but that's where they'll stand, and they'll actually despawn later if you move forward and hit a loading point. But, that is not actually where the Phantoms go, normally. So this time, we're going to get onto the Phantoms, but we're not going to get on the turrets. We're going to see what happens to the Phantoms if we don't interfere with them in any way. Because the reason why they crash in the water is actually because we're on the turrets. And let me show you what I mean by that, by not interfering at all with the phantoms. So, same thing, we're just gonna have someone get inside, but not on a turret. So that's Rooster Zombie right here, he's gonna just stand inside. I'm gonna back up and load the uh, mission again. So here it goes. Now, phantom does the same thing, same path, it's fine, turns invisible. Uh, 
but as you can see, uh, the other person is not invisible this time, and he just falls out. So, what that shows is what actually happens to the phantoms in normal gameplay, like, you know, without messing with it or anything. They actually just despawn shortly after they turn invisible. And I'm going to show you that from my perspective this time. But because we're on the uh, turrets, they don't despawn. And therefore, they, uh, they're they not scripted to crash into the water, actually. Uh, after like a certain point where they're normally supposed to despawn, because like we're still in it, they don't despawn. And at that point, they don't have any more scripted path, any flight paths anymore. So the phantoms just kind of like drop dead at that point. <laughs> they just fall out of the sky. Uh, they're not scripted to crash into the water, though. They just they just drop out of the sky and then land there. That's all. That's all that's really happening. So as you can see here, we're standing, we're both kind of hovering, but then the phantoms just despawn and we just fall out and die. So yeah, there you have it, guys. A uh, bit of a revisiting to that little mystery, and you know a lot of people might have assumed that the phantoms just crash in the water, but that is actually not the case. That is not where they really f uh, crash. They only crash there because we're on the turrets. But under normal circumstances, the phantoms, they just despawn. But anyways, last thing I'll show you guys one last time is if we're both on the, both people on the turrets, where both phantoms that crash exactly, or where they both just drop out. So the farther one lands out there and the closer one lands over there. So just a little thing to show you guys. But you can tell that they're still in the water because if you fly a little lower, sometimes you can still see in the water. Other times you might even see the shadow of the phantoms, like right over there to my left. Uh, but yeah, so there you guys have it. Um, kind of revisiting this like 10 years later, I guess. Uh, I think I did like a video on this a long time ago. I'm not sure. I don't remember. But if I did do a video on this a long time ago, then uh, I would have said that they landed here, which is which I now know is wrong. They in fact just despawn under normal circumstances. Anyways, if you guys did enjoy this video, uh, as always, make sure to leave a like. Uh, if there's anything else you want me to check out or want us to look into, just uh, let me know. And uh, you know, just post in the comments, and we'll do our best to uh, look into it when we get the chance. But other than that, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.